after a hair-raising uh, Uber drive here. We made it to the Museum of Egyptian Civilization. Looks pretty civilized to me. the matrix. Get a sneak little snippet of what to expect. There is a large courtyard that slopes gently up to the entrance, but it's really best for rolling coins. All these upside down pyramids. Which I'm assuming are beacons of light in the night. We got a lot of ground to cover today. This impressive scale model gives you an idea of the size of the complex. There is an exceptionally large lake outside, but sadly it was closed. I think at some point you'll be able to walk around it, but not this day. Feeling grateful to be alive after that Uber ride we just had. We're stopping for coffee. The coffee shop presents you with awesome views. Nothing like traveling halfway across the country to meet up with your Scottish friends. Neighbors. Actually our neighbor. And here we are. <laughs> the museum is very modern, very clean and very well presented. Four security checks here. Finally getting a barcode scan. Security is quite tight. Once inside, instead of a multitude of rooms, you get this open plan museum space. And that central staircase going underground to where the mummies are. The roof doesn't actually shimmer like that, it's just uh, frame rate stuff. <laughs> Upstairs in the grand hall. About 80% of this museum is on this open plan floor. And it covers Egyptian history in its entirety, not just ancient Egypt as we know it. You can see a lot of things you would expect to see at uh, an Egyptian museum, lots of artifacts. Getting a skeleton here. Turns out this skeleton is 35,000 years old. Found the skeleton of MacGyver. The museum uses digital displays to explain how things sunrise. worked back then. An early sundial. Shut after six hours from sunrise during meridian. Okay, let's watch the video. Oh. Ah, and a water timer. And before the age of the pyramids, there were these crude earth dwellings. That's wicked, man. This is really amazing. I'm gonna check out all the major mummies. So we just went into the mummies room, but there's no cameras or anything allowed in there. For which I think is right. You know, you don't want. To you want to keep the curiosity alive. Nobody uh, can see what, what it's all about unless they actually go in. 
get a sneak little snippet of what to expect. Yeah, and the ones with the hair are the most creepy. I think it was Queen Tia or Taya, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Long hair on this grim dead body. Pretty amazing. I just love the center of this museum. Got this 360 screen here and a screen on the bottom as well. So it all works together to give you a immersive experience. To the side there is a section dedicated to linen now if you've ever heard anything about egyptian cotton you will know that linen is quite central to the culture and these drapes once hung on the kaaba which is the geographical center of islam At the end we came outside to see the lake in the grounds. Sizable lake down there. Uh, where are my friends? Oh. Lynn loves a good photo. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I got my first t-shirt YouTube scan. Yeah, this is my very first scanner. What's your name? Yahya. Yahya. Hey guys. <laughs> oh dear. Can I put you on YouTube? <laughs> oh, dear. 